easy choice in that regard. Yeah, uh, came down to play and uh, I mean, signed up for a full year. Uh, I'm gonna play a full year and it's not really, uh, well, I play every snap, I doubt it, but uh, I mean, I'm definitely gonna be in the game Friday, so I wanna get all these guys in the right term. How does the knee feel compared to where it was at the end of the season? It's fine, it's always fine. <laughs> I, know it's, it's, I know it's fine. Do you feel better than you did yeah. at the end of the season? What does this game mean to you with it being your last game as a Buckeye? Uh, oh, I just look, uh, look around and good note with everybody else. Uh, just, guys you started with, go out with them, go out with positive note. Uh, that's what we're going for. What do you feel like is just the motivation of his team right now going into this game? Uh, for the young guys, it means your time to show what you can do uh, and uh, mark, mark a little territory for what you're going to do next year. And older guys, like I said, just go on the right note. You mentioned young guys. Are there any young guys who have really sh stood out to you during goal practices? I think all of them. I think they all do a good job. I think this is when they really take initiative to get more reps during goal prep and goal game. So uh, I think they're going to take it. With, uh, what kind of growth? Right. Have, what kind of growth have you seen from Devin over the past month? Uh, I mean, like I said earlier in the year, I mean, once you get the spot, you know it's your spot. Uh, you you already get better just by knowing that. Uh, I think he's done well. I think he's maturing well. Uh, I think he's going to be a very good player for. Him. Okay. Tight end room is going to change pretty significantly in a month when, when you're not here. How have you? Hey guys, we are going to bring Devin Brown back here after been about able to 15 get minutes. So take your time in here, knowing that Devin will be here. emerging as a leader. Bennett, I mean, obviously he's going to be able to play again. What do you see the future of that room being? Oh, they're going to be good. I mean, I think they're going to be in good hands, uh, regardless. I think we have a lot of talent in there. I think you're going to see it on Friday night. Uh, I think they're going to be good. I think everybody's going to be good. Is it crazy to you to think back five years and like you're moving Ohio State as a tight end, one of the most productive tight ends in school history, you know, a position you never played in high school on offense where you, you know, come in as a defensive player? Like, has it hit you yet that all of this is culminating in us? Not really. It's hard to uh, – hearing you say that, it does, but, I mean, just so much that goes in. This is a very stressful time for a guy leaving, uh, making decisions, a hard decision with them. Just, I don't know. It's hard, but regardless, uh, it's good to think back and see that. Garrett, coming in. Yep. What's the message? What's the Stover legacy that you have to pass on? To that's his legacy. Now that's that's what. Well, I mean, you guys are like brothers, but cousins, right? right? I mean, yeah. You're genetically brothers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's his. I mean, that's. I don't want him to feel any comparison. I don't want him to have to go through any comparison. Uh, I want him to be a hundred times better than me. Uh, and write his own story. Don't worry about what I did. You write and just do what's right. What will your advice be to him if they ask him to change positions? To change positions as a freshman, stay there. No, I'm just kidding. I, just, I don't think you're going to ask him that. He's a pretty good linebacker. With, um, with Jelani, has bowl practice allowed you guys to see anything new, different from him? Um, different reps, different different situations? Yeah, I mean, it puts him in more. Uh, he's in more situations than he was. So, I mean, you see. Uh, volume increase for him. Uh, I think he's doing a good job. I think he'll do a good job, but I think you'll see it start to really uh, flourish on Friday night. I know, but, you know, when you made this position change back to tight end, you talked about how, you know, you felt it would give you a better chance to play in the NFL. How do you feel like this year has maybe helped you in terms of preparing for that next step? Uh, I think it was one of the best decisions of my life was coming back uh, for one more year. It's hard. I didn't know if it was right or wrong, just like right now you end up with right or wrong, but uh, whatever's in your heart and what, what feel right, uh, I think you stick with it. And, Hope it goes right. What are the biggest ways which you feel like you are a better player now than you would have been if you had left a year ago? Just more mature. Uh, you've seen it more. Only playing the spot for one year. Uh, kind of, you don't really see a whole lot. You think you know it, but looking back to last year from now, you think, gosh, you didn't really know much of anything. Yeah, last time you were in kind of this similar setting after the Rose Bowl in 21, and you were still talking then, like, uh, maybe I'm a linebacker. Like, you had had a good experience that night. It really felt like it. Is it weird to think back to that time and just kind of maybe have a mindset change? Oh, yeah, that was – I was fully – You were all in then. Playing linebacker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just – I think everything will happen for a reason, and uh, – Luckily, it did, and uh, somebody was looking out for me somewhere, and brought me back over here. So, and it's been I one of the best decisions of my life. You know, come back over here. Kate, you're one of the leaders of this on the team. I've already been asked this. I'm sorry, but what does it mean to you to see so many guys staying locked in for this? Uh, it's, I think kind of speaks to who we got on this team as people. Uh, 
we got a lot of really, really good guys over here. Um, and no, I mean, this, and I was waiting, you wanted to go, but uh, to see everybody stay locked in and do what's best for the team, not always just themselves, it's special. Did you and X and Tommy do any persuading uh, in the early stages of this month, or, or has it just been no, these guys? No, you can't. That's not your choice. It's their choice and always will be their choice. I mean, it's hard. Uh, it's a very, it's a hard decision, but then again, uh, you, you make sure you stay true to what got you here, and it should take you the rest of the way, I hope. This might sound a little redundant, but to have, you know, potentially your last game and to have everybody still kind of bought in personally. You don't like to think about yourself personally on this team, but, but personally, what does it mean to you to see it uh, come together and now everybody's going to play in this game? It's cool. Uh, it's, uh, I'm really, it's nothing I wouldn't expect, to be honest with you. Uh, if you know the guys enough, you know that that's exactly how it would happen, how it would go down, it's how they speak to themselves, how they talk about themselves, how they talk about the team. Uh, it's special. Kid, it, it looks like I won't speak for him. But Tommy probably not going to be able to play the way he would have wanted to or at all on Friday night. Seems like a disappointing way for a great career at Ohio State to end. Like, what's it been like to be around him? I know he would want to play if he was fully you know, ready to go. Has it that been tough? Does he show any emotion about that? I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm I guessing think, not on that. But I think whatever Tommy decides to do on Friday night, uh, <laughs> doesn't hinder nor help uh, what he's done. Yeah. Uh, he's one of the best linebackers, in my opinion, ever to play through here. Uh, and without him, I don't think I'm still here uh, right. this long. Uh, that's my best friend. That's my. That's the best man at my wedding. Like that's my. I'll go to war with that dude any day of the week, whatever he needs. Uh, so, for what he's done, he keeps his mouth shut about it. And how he handles stuff, uh, he just. That's a special, special dude. For the the two of you, seem to like just absolutely hate injury talk, excuses, any of that stuff. The, the way the last month of the season played out for him, the way that you had to fight through that stuff with some surgeries, and it, it can't have worked out exactly as you wanted. How I'm sure it helped that the two of you were going through it together. I, I don't know, what was it like to manage that? Uh, it's not easy just because of the fact that you work so hard to get to that. I mean, that's what you, you work so hard to get back to that point and uh, some stuff that you can't control, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like some stuff that I'm probably not going to help. Uh, I mean, you yeah. just, that you're just not going to feel the best. And, uh, but I think for what we did, uh, given the circumstances, I think it's unbelievable. I mean, the sport's not, uh, it ain't easy by any means, uh, especially on the body, especially linebacker, tight end. I mean, that's a, it's a demanding, rough position. So uh, to get through yeah. the way we did and make it the way we did, I'm, I'm proud of it regardless. So. At, uh, do you know if you're playing? Like, is that yeah, you know, playing. you're playing? Okay. Yeah. Um, how much are you looking forward to this? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm don't know exactly. If I'm playing every snap of the game. I doubt it, but I mean, I'm, I'll be in the game Friday night for sure. What drives you to want? I mean, obviously, it looks like you got definitely a problem, <laughs> okay? But what drives you to want to play in this game? Uh, just finishing what you start, I guess. Uh, just there's a lot of back and forth of what's smart and what's not. Uh, you got a lot of different yeah. opinions, but then again, at the end of the day, uh, kind of comes down to uh, what you can morally live with and uh, what you morally stand on. And that's what I felt was the best decision uh, was to be out there with the guys. As a captain, what's the process been like of just leading this team back from obviously the disappointment of last month and getting them refocused for this game? Uh, it's a good question again. Uh, I don't think there's any words that can really tell you exactly how it happened. Uh, just wants to take time to heal, so we took a little bit of that time, and then, then again, uh, sun comes up the next day, so gotta go back to it. Uh, your impression of? Uh, you try not to really. I mean, you got key, you got reads, you got keys for every play. Uh, you stick to those. And you know those. And shouldn't really matter what they do. That's what how I look at it. Okay. What have you thought of Texas so far? Texas. The state or the, yeah, oh, the state? Texas so oh, I like Texas. This is I can get used to this. This is nice. My kind of people out here. <laughs> so uh, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know if I can say it on camera, but it's my kind of people out here. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. You talked about Keenan throughout the season, but now that you've spent almost a full year with him as your position coach, what really stands out? About him? Uh, he's that's a special dude. Uh, that's one of. It's a big reason why I did decide to come back this year and a big reason why uh, I feel like we had a successful uh, year as a team. I think he's a really special player. I think he does an awesome job of what he does, and he's the kind of guy you can trust. 
So I've been asked about him already, but Jelani, how have you seen him grow throughout the year, and, and where is he at in his development? Uh, I think he's, I mean, he's still young, of course, but I think he's done a really good job. Uh, bull prep, uh, bull practice, and bull games are really good for younger guys, and I think you're going to see that on Friday night. Okay. I'm sure you're asking this man your foul. Is that a hard decision to decision? It wasn't easy. Uh, I mean, but sick your heart. Yeah, I mean, just I mean, I don't know if I'll play every snap. I, I mean, I don't think I'll play every snap by any means. Uh, I think we'll see a fair bit of the young guys, but uh, I want to make sure I was out there with everybody and at least contributing in some sort. What advice do you give to Jelani and, and those younger guys to, to get them ready for this moment? There's really no advice. Uh, I just try and keep my mouth shut and just tell them it's the same, it's the same game it's been, same field, just different people watching. What are those decisions like, you announce for team? Should, should you text, like, how do you tell your teammates that you're going to be playing with people? I just show up to practice. Good practice. Is that kind of the same for everyone? Or yeah, it's no like... It's not a big thing. No, hell no. It's just, I mean, you expect to come to practice, come to practice. Are you going to miss all of No. <laughs> no, I'm not. No. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we get it. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, that's all right. What was your biggest takeaway from your like, bowl practices in your career? Like, did you ever feel like you made a jump in that time? I feel like, yeah, I think the Rose Bowl, uh, I think that's what really brought me back to feeling like, hey, I mean, you can actually do this. Yeah, I know about that. That was a turning point for me. Yeah. Even on the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, yeah, that was a turning point for me, no doubt about it. Uh, it's important. Uh, I think it's very important. Everybody's only trying to get away. Uh, regardless of uh, whatever happens, and we're praying we get a win. We're going to do everything we can to get a win. Uh, I'm proud of everybody, and I'm happy about it. Uh, your confidence in, in Devin now that he's got the start for at least one game. Yeah. Uh, I'm very confident. I think he's, I think he's going to do a really good job. Uh, I think he's grown a lot over the last month. Uh, when you figure out you're the guy, uh, your demeanor changes, your attitude changes, and he's done, he's done a good job. I think he's going to continue to do a good job for us. So it's outwardly he's changed. Right. I think, yeah, I think he's good. I think he's always been good. I think he'll be even better. What do you think of his consistency? Like he talked about how he feels like he's just more consistent passing the football. Coach Hartline said that as well. Do you see that as a receiver on that end of things? Uh, yeah, I mean, when the ball's delivered where it's supposed to be, uh, you get confidence in somebody. Uh, if it's consistently done like that, you go and gain a lot of confidence in somebody, and I think he's doing that. Yeah, he said the game has slowed down for him on the receiving side of things. Can you tell when that's the case for a quarterback? Yeah, I mean, I just think, like I said, when the ball's delivered how it is and wins on time, uh, that's when you know somebody's back there coming. Are you getting a little, I don't know what the word is, knowing this is the last... Last go around. I'm getting emotional. Those you're asking me. I guess not really. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, yeah. Uh, excited for something, and I'm um, excited to go out here with these guys one last time and see what we can do. And this mindset is to finish this thing right, right? And that seems to be the team wide. Yeah, I mean that's. I mean, you're here. Uh, regardless of whatever circumstance it is, we're here and uh, we're going to do it. In a time where so many players opt out for they want to go pro and they just it's just gone. Why is it so important for this group to put one more full game put a mark touch on the just for most of this group to come together and put put another game together? Uh it's just it's it's special. Uh it's just I think what how I think it's how things should be done and I think uh, that's how we're gonna continue to do it here. What's up with the Air Force One, the Black Air Force One? Is that a team issue thing? Or? Yeah, they, I, I thought we had to wear them. I guess we don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, Jack was in here yesterday and slide no socks, so. Yeah, I, I, I only brought these in a pair of boots, so it's. <laughs> Actually, really not that bad. They are at least out, but I mean, 